Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Yesterday Google released Android 15 Beta 2.2 which is unexpected. It's definitely a small update but there are some hidden tweaks here and there that I'm going to show you in this video in addition to some stuff I missed to mention about Android 15 in general. So without further ado, let's jump in. Let's start with the update size and the build number. Here I'm using the Pixel 7 Pro because my Pixel 8 Pro is running the stable version to make myself ready for June 24 feature drop and the update size is 76 0.14 megabytes the build number is ap31.240426.023.b4 and now let's take a look at the hidden features starting with the webcam mode when i connected my phone to the pc and tapped on the high quality button i got this acknowledgement on the screen saying that high quality mode disables power optimizations to improve webcam quality using this mode may cause significant power draw which can heat up the device and then it says that heating up the device will impact your battery health and for you to activate the feature you have to acknowledge the message and you have the option to stop it from appearing in the future if you want to. The share sheet also got some visual tweaks so let me try to share this photo and it shows here a much bigger thumbnail when compared to the previous version. The modify button now has a fill color around it unlike before and the share sheet is taking more space from your screen. For reference here is how it looks in the previous version the thumbnail is smaller the share sheet is shorter and there is no fill color around the modify button the third change in beta 2.2 when you access the widget speaker from the home screen you will see that all the sides are now shaded with the center area in a white color but when you compare this to the previous versions of android 15 and also the stable version you will see that the whole card is in one color now let's move on to the next chapter and here I'm going to show you some hidden features in Android 15 that I never mentioned and I'm not sure if they are related to beta 2.2 or not but let's go through them anyways. I will start with the mic and the camera indicators at the top. When you tap on this icon to expand the settings and then dismiss the card you will see that the animation is now linked with the icon which looks much nicer. But for reference, here's how it looks on the stable version. As you see, there is no link between the animation and the icon at the top. On top of this, when you try to add the widget to your home screen, you will see a slightly different splash screen up until the widget loads its content. And to make it easier for you to see, I took a screenshot and here you will find a gear icon at the top left corner and a message saying tap to finish setup. So it seems like Google is preparing something new for editing your widgets on the home screen. So let's wait and see because this behavior doesn't happen on Android 14 or the previous versions of Android 15. So that's it when it comes to the new features. Now let's talk about the bug fixes you will get with this version. The first one is a fix for an issue that sometimes remove app icons from your home screen when you activate private space for the first time. A fix for an issue with the wallet rule that prevented NFC payments from functioning in some cases. Fixed an issue where the app drawer doesn't show up when you swipe up from your home screen. Fixed an issue with the NFC that prevented NFC payments from processing in some cases. And then fix for an issue that sometimes caused videos that were recorded in 10-bit HDR to have a green tint. And finally, some various issues related to the connectivity and the stability of the device. Now let's talk about my experience with Android 15 till this point. I've been using Android 15 on my daily driver, the Pixel 8 Pro, since the very first build, Developer Preview 1. And the experience started to be solid from Beta 2 onwards. And I'm getting the same exact experience on my 7 Pro. And weirdly enough, when, when I downgraded my 8 Pro to the stable version of Android 14, now I'm having more issues than Android 15. So it seems like Android 15 is better when it comes to performance and stability at this point. But this is not a recommendation to uninstall Android 15 beta because it could be an exception for specific models, which I'm not sure about. So that's pretty much it for today. That's everything I wanted to tell you about Android 15 beta 2.2. Please let me know in the comments if I missed anything. But for now, thanks so much for watching and see you in the next video.